Khaled is back. Um, I hope our internet connection works today. We had some little issues this morning, but I don't think that's going to be a problem now. OK, then I would say, um, yeah, thank you, everybody, for connecting. Um, and welcome to our new webinar today, which we co-host with Pinterest. And I'm very, too happy, very happy to have an expert by my side today. Um, today, we're going to deep dive into the platform Pinterest to understand how you as marketers can use the platform for your marketing strategy, how you can create inspiring, relevant, and of course, like our title says, ROI relevant and effective campaigns. So yeah, we just, uh, who is here with you today? So for the ones who don't know me, um, I'm Pascal, international marketing manager here at Territory. We are a full service influencer marketing agency, and I'm happy to have Khaled here by my side virtually. He is lead um, creative strategy at Pinterest um, DA, and he will, yeah, join me for the session today um, and provide us all with Pinterest insights firsthand. And so you as marketers can understand the opportunities of the platform. And yeah, maybe start your first, or maybe you already started Pinterest uh, after this webinar. We also brought some testimonials. Um, um, and also, we are going to provide the user perspective with a survey we conducted parallel to this preparation of the webinar, um, where we gathered 26,000 answers. So I am very happy to show you this. What can you expect? So first of all, we want to start with a little education session. So talk about the basics of Pinterest and also understanding the pinners. So who are the users of Pinterest? Um, then we're going to dive deep, uh, deeper into the trends, because on Pinterest, you not only search for trends, but Pinterest can also predict brands. So that's actually a huge advantage uh, for you as marketeers. Um, and then we turn to the creator perspective or to creator marketing, which is um, especially interesting, of course, for our agency. Um, and then we will lastly summarize everything and happy to answer all your questions. Um, this session will be recorded and we're going to share the deck as well as the recording with you after via email. So why are we talking today about Pinterest? So first of all, the platform has increased its relevance um, when talking about influencer marketing in the recent, I would say, months, but also years. Uh, probably many of you have heard of the Creator Fund Pinterest was launching, and also there are many more features coming to the platform. Um, and you can see here 35% of marketers say they want to invest even more in Pinterest um, for influencer marketing. Um, but that's not the only thing. I mean, maybe a lot of you have seen the big posters we see here on the pictures in the cities. Um, I actually have seen it on my bike this morning here in Munich. Um, I think at the, I think it was at the bus station. And Kalle told me that um, this is a big global campaign because, of course, Pinterest is a US-based company, but now they want to gain even more popularity in the EU and um, yeah, show why Pinterest is a place for inspiration, but also for action. But we're going to um, yeah, see in a few minutes what this means. So um, I just teased it before. We um, conducted a survey during our preparations because we wanted to include the user perspective. So after each chapter, we're going to have um, Khaled's insights, and then I'm going to show you kind of the user perspective so we can see with um, yeah real-time data how um, pinners think about Pinterest, actually. And we conducted this survey across Europe in seven markets uh, covering the UK, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, France, Spain, Italy, um, Portugal, and Romania. And you can see we had more than 26,000 respondents. And most of them were females, um, which is a bit in line with, I think, the Pinterest target or like target group, but um, data. I mean, maybe not 88%, but uh, some more females. And the majority here was millennials and Gen X. So, yeah, we always have to keep in mind that this is the panel. Also, when I'm showing the data, of course, um, but nevertheless, it's um, yeah enough data to to be relevant. So I would say um, yeah we sh can start. 
with our session and um, the insights in Pinterest. So we start with the basics and herefor we brought you a little video where we want to yeah, let actually the testimonials speak how they use Pinterest, be it creator or be it a brand manager. And afterwards, um, I hand over the word to Khaled. So let's start. I have to say that whenever I need inspiration, So I would hand over the word to Khaled. <laughs> yes, thank you, Pascal. Hi, everyone. I'm thrilled to be with you today. I'm a creative strategy lead at Pinterest based in Berlin. Uh, I help strategic brands to empower their creative content and to discover the creative potential that Pinterest can provide to level up your brand and product stories. Um, just uh, let's move on to the next slide and get mm -hmm. right into the action. Uh, we love to start every session with our mission. At Pinterest, we are on a mission to bring everyone the inspiration to create the life they love. Moving on, Pinterest is, is often called the positive corner of the internet. People are not on Pinterest to droom scroll or pick up a fight. They're here to discover new ideas that will allow them to invest in themselves. They aren't here to sit back and be passive consumers. They are here to act and try and discover new things that excite them. That's the main difference in the mindset to begin with. We're gonna deep dive into this later on during the presentation. So as we move forward, um, let's look at the next slide where we highlight how positivity goes a long way on Pinterest. It's about being yourself, not your selfies. Pinners leave Pinterest feeling empowered. This is not about the selfies and the vanity metrics. It's about you. It is about ideas over arguments. Quality content and brand safety is ranked high because Pinterest is not the place where arguments are fueled. It is the place where ideas are born. And last but not least, when you are creating content on Pinterest, you are welcome, not because you are a celebrity or have gigantic followers or amount of followers. It is because of your expertise to start with and everything follows after. Moving on, uh, on the next slide, back to you, Pascal. Thanks, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, um, and I think, um, I mean, Khaled spoke a lot about um, inspiration and ideas. And before we dig deeper into if our community can confirm this, I would like to show you who is behind our panel. So when we ask our um, community, 88% um, are familiar with Pinterest. So you can even see it is quite popular. I mean, among a lot of females maybe, <laughs> but still um, it's quite a lot, a big, big, a big group. Um, and from them, 87 are active users. So active users in our case um, are people who use Pinterest daily, weekly, monthly or rarely. And even um, kind of half of them are frequent users. So um, you can see they are on Pinterest daily or weekly. I mean, they're not as also as Khaled said, like scrolling, like maybe you're not spend as much time as on, on TikTok, for example, where you just forget the time and next video, next video, next video, because you also use Pinterest for a different purpose, right? So, um, and this purpose is inspiration. So also here, our community says 72% um, that Pinterest for them is a space for inspiration. 
like inspiration for daily project, inspiration for upcoming projects, or inspiration from their favorite creators, which are definitely also a big part on Pinterest. Um, and I think when we see that Pinterest is a space for inspiration, we also ask us, okay, why is it a space for inspiration? Why do you feel comfortable like going there, checking, um, yeah, scrolling through and getting inspired for your personal project? And the community said they feel safe. And I think that's really, really um, nice and something what is, um, yeah, the contrary to maybe other platforms. So nearly 100% say they feel safe and they don't feel the pressure to be perfect. So it's more about yourself, like you do your projects, you look for ideas for a specific thing, which just like has to do with you. And you see words like relaxation, diverse, authenticity. So it's really positive mindset um, there. And we asked them even, why do you feel positive? So we really wanted to understand which yeah, statements they can confirm. And they said um, it's about community building. So 84% say it's Pinterest builds community among interest groups. They say they feel safe. They say 90% likes are not the key. It's all about inspiration. You also see the words more diverse and inclusive. So this gives us definitely an idea how pinners or how people on Pinterest feel and what is their mindset. And yeah, Khaled, maybe if I hand over to you again, um, is this also what you um, would say about pinners? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Pascal. I'm, I'm happy to see the results. They really speak in relevance to what we, you know, aim and you know, as, as the leading inspirational media environment, we want to take a look at how we guide people towards decisions on our platform. And here's what we found. Uh, on Pinterest, 97% of the searchers are unbranded. People come to Pinterest to plan and do, but they haven't yet made up their minds about what to buy. Um, but within the positivity and the inclusion that you've mentioned as well, this eases uh, that transition from inspiration to purchase as well. Um, mm -hmm. Go on the next slide. Um, we can continue the, the narrative on the the how the ecosystem works within Pinterest. So when pinners leave Pinterest, they leave decided, even because they come with the intent and they get inspired, and then it helps them can narrow down what they want. We'll get more into details as we go through the slides, but. Pinterest drives 10 times higher branded searches off of the platform. Uh, there's a trigger moment here that happens. Inspirational moments like on Pinterest actually help people make up their mind. And that's why we say they leave decided. Mm -hmm. Now, as we go forward, if we look at the Pinterest consumer journey, we know that it is driven by moments. Moments inspire purchases. And pinners are continuously planning for moments that act as purchase catalysts for brands. As you can see here, the journey to purchase indeed starts with inspiration. You can start very generic saying, I know I want, let's say, a family car, but then you go into specific special family moments where you can convert that purchase and you can see the steps uh, from inspiration to purchase. But of course, this happens across all verticals. We're just giving an example here that is more generic. Mm -hmm. Now, um, as we drill down and look at the journey, we can we can say that pinners are planners. On Pinterest, unlike other social platforms, it's not about the past or now. Those, so we can see the past and now as a as a situation. Uh, it is. People come to Pinterest to plan their future. This is great simply because it gives you the opportunity to engage with your audience at early stages of their path to purchase. We all know like when you want to convert, uh, do a home office or have a baby shower or a graduation, you plan ahead of time. It's not an impulse decision. I'm going to take this. You have to design the venue. You have to rework your house if you want to redecorate something and so on. So there's so much that goes into. So that's why we say pinners are planners. They know where they're headed. The intent is strong. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Um, on the next slide here. Back to you, Pascal. Yeah. Um, 
I think that's um, that's really interesting um, because also our community says that besides looking for um, inspiration and also researching for stuff, they are looking to take action. Like um, they want to they want to be like they want to make a decision for their uh, project they are working on. So also, as you said, like planning a wedding or looking for new recipes or whatever, they um, they are here to really, yeah, turn ideas into something real. And I think this is really um, a good, like really interesting for marketers because here you are in this moment where the consumer wants to take an action. So maybe it's not directly a purchase, but maybe it's saving a pin like from your brand and then later it's making the purchase. So the chances for conversions in whatever sense are quite high, I think. And it's especially interesting, I think, to understand also what does this action mean? I mean, it can be a purchase, but also um, we ask our community and what is highlighted here is they discover ideas, brands and products. So you can see that this is exactly where you should be as a brand like um be it with the creator or be it with your own boards but i think that's yeah we can even call it kind of the the sweet spot for marketeers because cons you gonna like target the consumer exactly in the field of interest like where the where the consumer is actively looking for something and even with an action what else do they do like they consume of course content uh, they search for ideas. We already said it several times. It's like a visual search engine. I mean, probably you know it from yourself. I also know it when I use, for example, Google. I go on pictures or in shopping, and also the shopping is um, full of, of pictures because images are stronger than text. So I think that's also um, why people search for like visual ideas of interest. And then they save ideas. And I think that's also very relevant because ideas um are here to last longer like it's not a quick 30 like a video which you maybe scroll away but here you plan something let's say a wedding and for decoration for cards whatever you save the stuff for later so i think um here we can highlight that the content is very very relevant so the content should be um yeah also made for a longer period of time um, and if we go even a stop as a step further, of course, Pinterest um, is there so people check for trends, but Pinterest can even predict trends, right, Khaled? <laughs> yes, I think this is the favorite part of what I, I, I like and I'm excited every year when we release the predictions. So, so as, as we know, Pinners are planners and it is important to look at uh, their big inspiring moments. So in line with that, every year we release a Pinterest predicts report and um, the report, uh, the, the predicts report is not your typical average end of year trend report. It is what's going to be trending soon. So great opportunity for brands to capitalize and own a conversation somewhere. Uh, you can find our predicts report on business.pinterest.com. It's available for everyone and we are going to be releasing our predictions for 2023 soon. Um, it is also clear in the data that when we're talking about our predictions, eight out of 10 of the trend predictions for the last two years came to be true, even in the most uncertain and changing moments that we passed through. So looking at 80% success rate isn't bad at all. These are trends you can actually trust and act on as brands, as I mentioned. So to help you identify peak advertising opportunities. Uh, on the next slide, we created uh, a chart and the chart kind of shows different moments. So as a reminder, people are always saving for seasonal ideas on Pinterest, but this provides specific moments at which we see engagement spikes. Uh, these are small but powerful unique moments or occasions allowing brands the opportunity to speak directly with consumers on a hyper relevant level. So with that said, now that we've learned how trends and moments help, um, let's look at how you can create a unique communication strategy on Pinterest. You have different formats that we, we allow 
uh, for you to surface that content, that visual or audiovisual aspect. So let's see how those concepts can live by looking at our ad formats, which are designed to fit the consumer user experience and the full marketing funnel. You have everything from static to video to multi-product ads like carousel and collection. In addition to that, there's idea ads, as you, as you see here, which is a multi-card video static full experience in that sense. Of course, you can get, learn more about all those also on our website and if you go to business.pinterest.com. But I just wanted to let you know that storytelling has a lot of different faces and not all creative is created equal in that sense. So creativity has no limit when you know that what, what you're able to kind of surface on that mobile screen. You can go even beyond and we have something called, it's not here, it's not a format, but it's a pin extension where you click and you have 360 views, AR, immersive scapes that you can build on top leading from the format on a pin here to a specific experience that lands on your website, helps you with lead gen, helps you with, um, you know, um, purchases and so on. Next slide. Yes, that's on me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we of course also ask our community um, about trends and we can see that 72% um, are searching for trends. And even better for you as an audience, 68% are also uh, discovering new brands. Um, so especially in the in the field of home decor, DIY, food, but there was also mentioned beauty, for example, fitness. And you can see that um, like talking about the different topics or industries, it's actually quite equal. So in our community, at least, it was not that there was one topic standing out like only DIY or stuff, let's, which you maybe think uh, and when you first think about Pinterest or what I think about. Um, so you can uh, you can just see that Pinterest um, is uh, made for inspiration for various type of industries. So it's not only because you are a beauty brand, you're going to be successful or you you are. Um, yeah, you do home decor. No, it's like really equally actually i think it's in um the the most essential thing is the content so um if the content is strong um you can yeah win <laughs> and i think who makes the best content um is of course the creators who create content uh, which is their yeah job um so i would say we can now deep dive a bit in the creator marketing on pinterest because i mean we we for example in our agency we do uh, pinterest uh, campaigns of course already however we often face that clients not really sure like they don't really know how to do the creator marketing on pinterest they may be already on pinterest they have their boards etc but sometimes they struggle a bit like how to start with the creator part. So I think it's very nice to now um, bring some light into the darkness and Khaled can show us some, yeah, why's, what's and how's about the creator marketing. Thank you, Pascal. So as mentioned, great ideas help people to go from inspiration to realization and creators show how to do that. And Pinterest, we call influencers creators because we, can, uh, we also value their creations in terms of content. So that's just for you to understand when we say creators, we mean influencers uh, when comparing to in the, the industry kind of term. So creators on Pinterest can lead the content creation. Creators can make idea pins. It's a format, tag your brand, and you can promote that content as an idea ad with paid partnership. I'll give you more details and it's going to be clarified much more uh, later. So you might be wondering now who are our creators and why should you work with them? Well, creators on Pinterest are like no other. Our community doesn't just value ideas, as we mentioned, they value the people behind those great ideas. And when people value inspiration, you get higher performing content. Our network of trusted creators, including our cur curated match making tools and expert picks will help you discover creators eager to produce content that helps. And that content helps with you building credibility and brand affinity. Whether you want to work with us for a Pinterest match creator or work with your own existing creators, 
or even prefer to get matched through our third party agencies, we can help to make that happen. So there are those three things you see on the slide, the different approaches to work with creators. Moving forward, um, creators do more than lend an authentic voice. They help your content perform. When you work with a creator, they create the inspiring and captivating content that their audience loves and is already familiar with. So this is why we see such great results. Brands who partnered with creators saw 38% higher awareness and 37% higher pin awareness in that sense. And those are based on the studies we've, we've done previously in in, in, the mar in, in, in a brand lift study in the US that was done during Q4 of 2021 and Q1 of 2022. Now, what does this mean for your brand? Printers is the home of inspiration and creators make that inspiration come to life. So our creators choose to here on printers. It is right. Idea ads, I've mentioned that before, idea ads with paid partner partnership will help you as a brand to partner with such creators. It's, it's a format where you have that combination. This way you can scale your brand story in an authentic and trusted manner. Creators will share ideas interacting, interacting with your brand and products. Uh, your audience will get inspired and act, and this will result in the overall higher impact that we're talking about for your content. So think about you having a narrative, your creator having a narrative, doing a partnership over, taking the whole screen as a vertical and inspiring together. So part of that content can be authentic and based on the agreement and the talks, it's just uh, a match that could help you not only secure the idea ads, which is an ad format, but also add the paid partnership in one. So think about it as a package together. Um, so further down the line, let's look at um, what on the next slide. Now, we, I wanted to showcase a success study, a success case study with Mac Australia. We talked about creators, right? So diversity and inclusions for, uh, in this case, are part of the core value. I think I'll let yeah. Sorry. Sorry, can you repeat can you repeat it? Because I think your internet was um, kind of okay. jumping a bit. So, yeah. sure. I was saying um, this is a Mac Australia case, uh, which is a video we're going to be playing. It's all about diversity and inclusion as part of the core values of Mac Australia. So they worked with a creator called Rushi Page, who produced a series called Faces of Australia. Let's look at the video and then I'll give you a bit of a summary there. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> yes, so very important big topics. We're talking about you know sustainability, we're talking about diversity inclusion. When you're advertising, when you're sending out content, you're not sending it linear in a linear manner to just talk about one persona. You have to be personalized. And when we're looking at this ex uh, example from Mac Australia, we're seeing that a more inclusive and diversified advertising strategy doesn't only make or spread positivity, but it also gets better results because people feel included, they uh, connect with your brand and they see themselves in that. And that sparks inspiration to consider and, and strengthen that brand affinity that we talked about. And then go down the line through the funnel to consider a stronger partnership and relationship with your brand and with your creators to become brand loyalists and make a purchase. So as mentioned on the video, Mac Australia reached a wider audience and plans to use Pinterest more for similar activations next year. So I hope you get inspired by what you've seen today from my side. I'm going to pass on to Pascal next. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think the, the, the best case is really nice, especially um, in terms of the values of diversity and inclusivity. Um, which are also a part why our community think Pinterest is a, a safe space and a positive space. So um, that's really nice to see. And I also think um, this is highlighted by who our community follows. So we see 30% are connected with creators and only 5% follow celebrities. I've highlighted in the sentence below, which also shows a bit like this positive, relaxed feeling, right? So. I would here also recommend to work with rather micro macro influencers instead of star influencers because um, they are covering the niche you want to be positioned in, right? And also, um, I just spoke with Khaled before the webinar, like in Pinterest, it's not about the most followers, it's also the views of your content. So it's a bit different, like in other platforms or like the, the like say metrics or how it is measured is a bit different. So even smaller influences with strong content can be very, very visible. Um, yeah, that's about this. And also um, we talked about conversion and purchase a bit, um, which is also, of course, um, can be kind of increased with creators. I mean, we, we all know these buzzwords, social commerce, social shopping, and Pinterest is, inv is investing in social features um, a lot. And here our community says 23% purchased something because of creator. Um, you can even dive uh, deeper a bit into the countries where we see Spain is um, with 22 and Poland with 23% in this case in our panel um, with the highest numbers followed by the UK and Germany. Um, and I think there's even more potential because there are some features which are still only available in US or UK not rolled out in Europe. So this um, combination of creator and shopping um, is definitely something uh, you should consider. Um, so yeah, I would say um, let's summarize. Um, we want to yeah highlight some last tips. We want to just um, yeah give you a little checklist. Um, so as we heard now many times, like it's not about the reach, it's about the story because Pinterest is a visual search engine, so the story and its appropriate cont content is key. And the story should be authentic um, and up to date. So we would recommend definitely to work with creators uh, who cover your topic and who preferably also jump on trends or you even do stuff and the consumer doesn't even know um, that this is already trending. <laughs> so um, yeah, choose a creator um, which can position you best. Also, the content is key, um, and I think it's very relevant that influencers and your brand relate, um, create high quality images with compelling text, because um, it may be that the content is found in six months and then it's gonna be saved, or, you know, like the content is very, uh, has a long, long like life cycle, <laughs> maybe we can say it like this. Um, so therefore, it's essential to um, concentrate um, on the Pinterest man mindset, understand who are the users and think Pinterest first content. I think that's 
quite special because there are different formats which you can uh, apply, where you can have a big variety and think mobile first because um, the majority of the searches are done on mobile. So um, this should definitely be in the focus when creating uh, content or um, collaborating with creators. Um, so yeah, um, please feel free to reach out to us for more best cases. Also, all the data you've seen from the community, we also um, have this for all the local countries, so be it Germany, Spain, Poland, from wherever country you're coming. Of course, we're also going to have the local webinars this today, the German webinar in the afternoon and next week in other languages, but we can provide you definitely with local data and industry specific cases, either from us or from Pinterest, of course. So I will give you our um, email addresses and LinkedIn. And we have yeah some three minutes left for some questions. Maybe we can quickly check. There was one question before Khaled has to run to the train. So the question was, what do you think of brands such as Travel Destination creating a content page on Pinterest without supporting ads? Cost effective method to start Pinterest marketing? Yeah, um, go ahead. <laughs> great, great question. You always have to start organic and build uh, the, the interest first. Of course, you don't want to advertise. And then when people click on your profile and not see something right, it's not a ghost town. Uh, I've seen great travel uh, advertisers that started with, of course, the best tips for destinations for Valentine. Uh, they they or let's say for the summer period or you know local domestic travel versus international what could you consider with COVID they were sharing tips so there's a lot that you can share in terms of create that affinity with travel whether it's tips to the best destination where it is to avoid tourist traps to get the cheapest let's say deal with the best experience to be matched with a local guide there's so much but once you have that content, how do you activate the people? If you stay just organic, then yeah, they consume, but it's not a two-way relationship. You're not asking them, you're not giving them that call to action. You're not popping up on their feet to kind of say, you know what, now that you've consumed a lot and you're part of like this community of travel, why don't you check this top selling cruise across Europe, for example, uh, which is very uh, exclusive in that sense, or create, we talked about idea pins where you can actually take that organic, repurpose it. You own the content, you own the text, but then you promote it. So there's no cost in the production of the content, but you could do is like different carousel cards and then ending with a call to action. Hop onto our website and, and, and book. Here's a promo code that you could unlock that gives you 10% off. So you can really activate. But of course, you have to add the fuel, which is organic you're talking about. And then phase two is start considering, okay, how can I activate those uh, don't forget that on Pinterest, people come with intent. If I'm looking for the best Italian destinations, I've made my mind. My intent is to go to Italy. I don't know if I'm going to go to Rome or to the Amalfi Coast. But when you inspire me, then I'm going to do more research through your organic. And then with the promoted package to Italy coastline, then I would actually convert. It's not like when I'm on other platforms, I'm looking at my friends or my followers, and then I'm disrupted. People are not disrupted with the ads on Pinterest. It goes aligned with their affinity and their interest. And that's, I hope I kind of answered your question properly there. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. And I think um, starting with organic on whatever platform is always a good idea, and then you can top it up with paid stuff. You can also, um, for example, user generated content you can also pin you can have a board where you also have user generated content if someone i don't know is already traveling with your agency or to the destination you want to you want to uh, promote so i think that's also a nice way um to have even more content to fill up your your boards with authentic content um yeah one and, more thing, Carla, yeah. i just want to add mm -hmm. when create that organic content and you can see how many people are saving your content in that sense. So it gives you also an indication like, okay, this board has been saved a couple of times or this, this pin in the board has been saved a lot of time. Uh, like my Italian right. pins about food, whatever, it can give you an indication of yeah. how to create your content and what do you want to promote as well in the future. Yeah. So also analyzing your content, of course. Um, interesting. Cool. 
Um, looking at the time, I know Khaled has to run to the train. Um, if there are no more questions, I would like to thank you for your um, yeah time. Sorry for the little tech uh, problems in the beginning. And hope to hear from you. As I said, feel free to uh, write an email to me, write an email to Khaled. We love love letters. <laughs> And um, I think C, uh, Khaled's going to be on the Demexco. So if you um, yeah, see the Pinterest booth, I don't know if you have one, uh, you can pop up there. Um, this year we don't have a, a booth, but maybe next year. Yeah, so have a great rest of the day and thank you for listening. I'm going to send you the recording and um, yeah, we're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Have a good rest of the day and take care. Bye. <laughs> bye bye.